Now you'll see, and you noticed in the starting lineups that uh, a little bit of a change. Ryan Young in there for Mark Mitchell against Arkansas. Second start of the season for Young. Filipowski in the paint. Put the shoulder down and scores. Not quite the strength to go inside against him. Nate George on the handle. Cut off. Jumper. No go. Only his second attempt. As Roach has to send it back out. Filipowski. Into the corner. That's a three that bounces off. So McCain misfires. Here come the Yellow Jackets. This is Miles Kelly. It's a three ball. Fallen for the Yellow Jackets. Confidence. Over 19 points per game for Kelly. They dump it low to Young. Couldn't calculate the angle. Got it back. And this time, it also bounces off. The Yellow Jackets in transition. Two point blank misses. Another three ball. And that turn, you know, you get two easy. Georgia Tech made eight threes on 27 tries in the win against number 21 Mississippi State on Tuesday. Here's another three from the corner, and it threes Junior. Tawana into the game, wears number 10 in white and old gold and blue. And off to Kelly, down the lane against Filipowski, held his ground. Backdoor Kelly, dropped it off. Nice interior play that time. Sturdivant. Fantastic player who comes off the bench for the Yellow Jackets. And that pass intercepted. Mitchell one on two. Coleman trying to get back. Knocked around by Kelly and out of bounds. Stopped the break. Made them set up in the half court. For just joining us, Tyrese Proctor had to leave with what appeared to be a team that was ranked in the top 25. That was a, that was a really nice win in the ACC-SEC challenge. Catch and release for three. And Roach rattles it home for Duke. Duke connects on almost eight threes per game. That is sixth in the ACC. Soft bounce. And the bucket. Raw offensive game, but uh, looked pretty skilled there. He's got five points. Reeves has six. This is power firing away. Coleman pulled it down. Miscommunication. Foster taps it ahead. Mitchell treats everybody to the rim for the jam. So it was Foster who tapped it up ahead to Mitchell. Eyes for the rim. And he slams it. Shot clock to five. Claude down low. And Dungo off the glass. Claude from the corner. Filipowski guarding him and taking it away. Second block. He's done a nice job of taking the body and getting the block. Off-season surgery on both hips. The mobility is there and the leaping ability. Just made the defensive play and then Foster hits at the other end for the Blue Devils. Approaching the nine-minute mark. Right down the lane. And Dongo dropped it off. Claude finished it up. Claude, one of those, he's a wide-body guy, played in a mid-major program in Western Carolina. So far, translating pretty well at this level. And Claude is the senior from Goldsboro, North Carolina. First year in the Georgia Tech program. And as Mike mentioned, played in Western Carolina in the Southern Conference. That's knocked away to Filipowski. Foster on the hop and run. Down the lane, and he drops it in. Timeout, Damon Stoudemire and Georgia Tech. And it's 11th season since the refurbishment from Alexander Memorial Coliseum, which opened up back in 1956. Steele, Blakes, one-on-one, -on -one. Sturdivant. Blakes wins it. Last Duke lead was two to nothing, right out of the gate here in Atlanta. Little follow away from Roach, Mitchell offensive glass and a reload. Stepping behind the line for three. They fought all the way back from trailing 12-2 early. Off the glass and good at Dungo. Feverish action. That was a 6-2 guard, folks, who made that play. Claude had it knocked away. Tries again. Filipowski got a piece of it. Third block for Filipowski. I'd say both teams are into the game right now. Sturdivant drops it off Claude. Into the corner. And a three. Blakes comes out of the corner. Kelly was ready. Shot clock is at seven. Roach just beyond the free throw line.
defenders out on the perimeter. They also they do a nice job with uh, helping in the driving lanes. Long distance three ball. A while here, I need to take a shot. Second three of the game for Kelly, who averages over 19 points per game in the top 10 of the ACC. Blakes misses. McCain runs it down to the corner. Comes strong out of that corner. Nice touch on the shot, McCain. That was his first bucket of the game, averaging close to eight per game for Duke. Shot clock's inside of 10 for Georgia Tech. The runner, Miles Kelly. Roach. Cross it over, all the way to the rim. Highlight move from Roach. Eight points in the first half for Kelly, leading scorer for Georgia Tech. Hesitation and drive, Miles Kelly to the glass. Well on his way in the first half. Filipowski with the shot clock inside of 10. Got doubled, got it back, laid it up and in. In that first half, above their season average of 39%, which was at the bottom of the conference in the ACC, and it's Reeves Jr. with a three ball. Terrific game for him as well. And Kelly can play kind of play. Young can kind of play center field a little bit. Kelly down low, and Dango lays it in with two seconds on the shot clock, and he was fouled. Talking about a guy maturing right before our eyes, and he just. I mean, he's not he's not gonna be a pick and pop guy that only attempted five free throws young bang it inside the help came from dongo and it goes out of bounds and will stay with duke inside the alley young fake at basket Inside and Dungo again. Here to the final four as a player at Arizona. Shot clock is down to six. Intercepted pass, Roach. Tried to get it up ahead. Ball was deflected. McCain now on the drive. Pass to Wana. Lays it in with the left hand. It's a little different when it's just one of those guys out on the floor as a rim protector instead of both of them. Filipowski gets a piece of that. Into the corner, Coleman. Out of the corner, Coleman. Reeves Jr. Hits the jumper. Oasey Reeves from Macon, Georgia, the junior. Big pick up in the portal. McCain underneath. With the three fouls. Entry pass, Filipowski around his defender, and it stays down. And he got a switch now. Sturdivant, fancy dribble, and hits the jumper. Filipowski a little late getting out on that. McCain for three, too strong. And the struggles continue from beyond the arc for Duke. They are now 2 of 14 on three-point tries. Coleman driving. Coleman scoring! Second foul on Roach. Trying to stay undefeated, taking on the Louisville Cardinals first time in that game for them. Mitchell! See, that's, dropping the hammer. That's exactly what he needs to do. And here comes Roach. Let's see how the three-point shooting does in the last ten minutes of this game. Roach driving up and under, deflected away, taken back by Georgia Tech. Sturdivant threads the pass, and the jam! Ty Claude, the rim bender. And that's, and that's what... That's what power gives you. How about Duke has won 16 of the last 17 meetings between the teams, Mike? Including a lopsided victory last year here in Atlanta. That's Roach in close. There's no real shot blocker in the middle out there, so an opportunity for Duke to go inside. Roach has 16, knocked away. Foster. Towards the rim, and he lays it in. Yeah, you got to switch there on Juana, but not any trouble because, uh, you know, that far away, they're big on a small. Shot clock down to three. Out of the corner! With the monster jam! And Nungo! Georgia Tech bench. After the fake, the drive, and the jam from number 11. 
this shows you again the confidence that Daniel Stoudemire has in uh, Nate George, uh, the freshman having him out there instead of Sturman. Roach on the drive and two. Yeah, and, uh, and, you know, had to pick up, uh, he's had to pick up the scoring. Filipowski is well under his average. George. Has given Georgia Tech a five point lead inside of six minutes to go in regulation. Foster for three. We haven't heard from Miles Kelly in a little bit. Let's see if he starts to be a presence in the last four minutes. Just the second tie of our game. Coleman out of the corner with the jumper. Second game of our doubleheader has gone right down to the wire. Duke and Georgia Tech. First to two meetings this year. Filipowski dropped it off. This time to Mitchell. Foul on the jam. We talked at the open about Filipowski becoming a passer, and he has made some ter terrific they delivery bailout twice by tap outs. Duke ahead for the first time since it's led 23-21 in the first half. Roach elevating, dropping it off to Mitchell for the slam. Watch the play here. Kelly, the drive. Third tie of the game. Roach driving, drops it off. Filipowski hangs and scores. Absorbed the contact. Took the body and then made the finish. 12 points for Filipowski. Two point game. Alley to finish. Dungo ties it at 68. I mean, look, this is just great. A little brush screen. You got a little back screen for Coleman. Great catch and finish. 23 seconds between shot and game, Fox. They just have to play solid defense if you're Duke. Nate George. Alley oop. And Dungo gets it. <laughs> Pick and roll. Foster on the inbounds. Roach driving. Tough shot. Swallowed up defensively. Kelly had the ball. Kelly on the free throw line. Puts him up by best. three. That is a game this afternoon. 16 points for Kelly. Game over. Four point game. Nothing Duke can do. Georgia Tech wins it over number seven, Duke.